we're talking about is just the company's resources and their core competencies and competitive advantage and all that. So that's kind of a lot of, I guess, what we'll focus on. Okay. Um, so I guess the first thing would just be what are some of y'all's uh, primary core competencies that help y'all succeed and everything? Well, I think that the we're a sales organization, okay? We're not a technology company, really. We're a sales organization. That's what the company was built on. We operate Verizon retail stores. So we've got about 550 Verizon-branded retail stores located throughout the country. And the uh, business model uh, originated... Um, I'm going to take you back a little bit of time, okay? So what happened was uh, two fraternity brothers of mine, and you're all, frankly, uh, Tom Pfeiffer and Douglas Gray graduated from college in 1989. And at that time, cell phones were just a new starting thing, right? They just kind of come out. And the, the guys who sold cell phones, it was not a retail environment, really. It was you call somebody up and go see a business guy about buying a cell phone, right? So it's kind of like a outside sales job almost. And so the guys decided that uh, they wanted to be in that sales. They thought that was pretty cool. So they go to um, Cellular One was the name of the company back then and said, hey, we want jobs as salespeople. And so your one said, well, you're not, you have no experience selling, so we will not hire you on our sales staff and pay you. But if you want to start your own company and go sell our products on our behalf, it's kind of an independent sales rep, we'll allow you to do that. So these guys set up a company and they hired other salespeople, including a guy by the name of Dane Sism, who was at the time still in school. Um, and uh, they went out and they sent these guys out trying to sell cell phones. Well, Dane ended up being a pretty good cell phone salesman, as it turns out. And following um, uh, December of two. Uh, of 1992, uh, he had a pretty good Christmas season, and these guys owed him $14,000 in commission. And um, they didn't have the money because they weren't really working. They, they thought they were just going to have the sales force make them rich, right? <laughs> so they said to Dane, look, if you'll just forget about the 14000 that we owe you, and you can just have the company. Wow. And so he had to assume some uh, copy machine leases, and they had also started with a couple of kiosks in the mall using some Hickory Farms Christmas key. I don't know what it was. And so uh, Dane had gotten so serious about this thing, he actually had an assistant that was scheduling appointments for him and everything else. He's still in college at the time. And so he sat down with his assistant and said, do you, wanna, do you think we ought to do this? And said, yeah. And so he ended up actually marrying her, and she's been very much a part of the company all these years, and they've had a great relationship. But that's how cellular sales got started. But if, and Dane would tell you that he was the first guy ever to sit in a mall to sell cell phones because, you know, they had borrowed this Hickory Farm kiosk. And, <laughs> And uh, he thought, well, if I'm going to be on the phone calling people all day, I might, might as well uh, sit somewhere where people might walk by and ask me. And so that's kind of how uh, the, the retail part of our business at least started. So he's got these independent sales guys. He's a sales guy. Um, and his deal with them was, look, whatever I get, you get half. Okay, so, and there's risk to it because the phone's, cost more than they're sold for. So every transaction is kind of two transactions. One is you take a loss on the phone. The second is you get paid a commission from the carrier and that commission is enough to offset the loss you take on a phone. So this phone right here, for example, is probably a $600 device 
and we sell it for probably two hundred dollars so right there we take a four hundred dollar loss on that part of the transaction but then Verizon pays us six hundred dollars so that six hundred dollars four hundred of that goes to pay for this loss on the mm -hmm. phone and then a hundred goes to the company and a hundred goes to the salespeople so it, it's kind of been that way all along Dane decided in the very beginning We'll just split whatever the sale is. You know, you take two hundred dollars of the four hundred dollar loss, you take three hundred dollars of the six hundred dollar commission, and so you net a hundred and I net a hundred. And so it's it's fundamentally a sales organization. And Dane himself was a sales guy, although he'd tell you he was a horrible sales guy when he started, but he read lots of books and since that time he's been featured in in sales books. People have, have referred to him and said this is a guy. So the core competency, first and foremost, is sales, a sales organization, and the compensation, the incentive of the compensation is what makes our organization about two times more productive than any other uh, cell phone seller.